Welcome to Intelli Videos. In this video, I will be talking about the data analysis of Intello files. I will make it clear how it's done and why we decided to offer the data analysis in this way. And finally, I will present a pre recorded example to see how data analysis can be done on the real data obtained by Intello. The data analysis of Intello can be executed by Nova2 through a very simple and quick data exporting process, a process which we call into Nova. So you might ask yourself why we have selected Nova as an analysis platform for Intello. One of the reasons is that Nova software is very powerful in data analysis, and during recent years in the market, it has proven to be a trusted software in electrochemical data analysis. Nova offers a comprehensive set of data analysis commands. In fact, there are 19 analysis commands and 9 data handling commands in Nova, which can be used to analyze data from a wide range of electrochemical techniques. Nova covers common analysis actions like correcting baseline, searching for peaks, performing equivalent circuit fitting on EIS data, determining the corrosion rate from linear sweep voltammetry, etc., etc. So this is one of the main reasons. So how does Intunova process work? It's pretty simple. Once you have acquired the data in Intello, simply click on the Analyze Data in Nova icon. The icon is shown in this slide and has the same design as the Nova 2 icon with an additional black arrow. Then an NOx data file is created, which is readable by Nova. And once the file is created, you can use any data handling and data analysis command in Nova to do your preferred analysis on this set of data measured by Vionic powered by Intello. In this video, we will learn how to analyze the data obtained by Vionic powered by Intello. The Intunova can be used for measured data, but also for already stored data in the Intello database. We start with the default electrochemical impedance spectroscopy potentiostatic procedure. So we go to procedures. In the Outlab library, you will find EIS potentiostatic. I'm going to change the stabilization time to one second and the last frequency to 100 Hertz. This is due to uh, to speed up the measurement, and this is just an example. The electrodes are connected to the Outlab test cell, and after the measurement is finished, you will find in the top right corner of the run the Analyze Data in Nova button. So we start experiment. This will take a few seconds because we don't scan for a very wide frequency. We go from 10 kilohertz to 100 hertz and uh, 10 frequencies per decade. So not that many data points. So after the measurement is finished, you'll find here in the right upper corner, Analyze Data in Nova. If you click on this button, First, you have to save the experiment, so the data, eispotentiostatic.nox. So it's creating an NOx file, which can be read by Nova. We save it. And this is the location where the data is stored in the Intello data folder. And from here, we can launch the Nova software. Well, the Nova, Nova already open. There are two ways to import the data. One way is with import data command, like this. Then you can select the file from the folder, or you can create a library where you're creating a data location, the Intello data location, like this. So there are two ways. Well, once you've opened the data in Nova, you can do all kinds of analysis to it, but also data handling. So you can also use the windower or the build signal command or the calculate signal command 
but also analysis general uh, general commands like peak search and uh, smoothing but in this case we're going to use the impedance analysis commands like electrochemical circle fit we can drag and drop this in the command but also the fit and simulation command in the same way like this first we do electrochemical electrochemical circle fit so we select a few points on the graph the semicircle is constructed and here we will find the resistances and the capacitances of this circuit we can copy the information and use that in the fit and simulation routine so we can edit the circuit description and in here we'll find a paste command press ok and then we'll start fitting of the data when you go back to the fit and simulation routine in the tools you can also generate a report where you'll find all the values of each equivalent circuit element okay so this is the first example I can also go back to my uh, already stored data so when I go to my home screen of Intello I go to my data library and if I want to do an LSV corrosion measurement which we have done with Vionic in here when I open this file you also see an analyzed data in Nova so when I press this button here give it a name in the Intello data folder and in here you'll see already uh, available in the library so we have the data and from here LSV staircase we can also add analysis to the I versus E plot and we can say corrosion rate analysis so here double click on the corrosion rate analysis then we can do our table slope analysis for example or we can also do our polarization resistance where we only have to change the range of the input for example 10 millivolts and then you'll find the corrosion rate but also the polarization resistance thank you for watching Intello videos if you found this Intello video helpful please like and share with your colleagues you can subscribe to the Metrum Autolab YouTube channel so you are notified when new videos are available.